An East Lime Pond is about to be tested for deadly mercury contamination. But mercury concerns aren't a new problem at Dodge Pond. News 18 to tell on the scene at the pond with the latest on what's now being done. Dodge Pond here in East Lyme looks rather serene, but for 16 years, people have been banned from eating any fish caught here because of high mercury levels. The question is, does that underwater threat still exist? The first selectman is fishing for answers. We have residents living nearby, we have a well nearby, so it's, it's of great concern to us. The last time the state tested Dodge Pond was in 1995 when it tested about 50 others. Mercury levels were unsafe and since then only fish have been tested, but not the lake. Their levels are lower, but still unsafe. If you look down there now, there's nobody around the lake. And that's why. Eleanor Talley says when her daughter was young, people would always gather around the pond, but now her grandsons are among only a few who use it. And me and Jordan, we, we love it down there. I, I mean, it, it's a great place to go fishing. You just can't eat them. First Selectman Paul Formica says the Navy, which has run its underwater acoustic testing facility for 65 years there, is now testing the pond, looking at levels and who's responsible. The Navy's been there since 1946. So we want to know if the Navy and the mercury are connected, the higher, lev higher levels of mercury are connected, uh, or not. And if they're not, uh, then you know, we understand that it's a statewide mercury issue. They found out that the mercury levels were low. Would you guys want to go swimming? Um, Pretty much. Testing here at Dodge Pond began on June 13th and is expected to continue for the next couple of weeks. Now, after that, the Navy will spend the next few months analyzing those samples. Results aren't expected until ice is already formed on this pond sometime in February. On the scene in the Niantic section of East Lyme, Tina Detell, News 8.